Hey guys, Kebab here, and you may be going like, whoa, 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 Kebab, what happened to the live commentaries? And to be perfectly honest with you, I tried recording this episode like seven or eight times, and it just wasn't happening. Like, I wasn't saying jack shit because I was too frustrated with the game. So I figured that you guys deserved a little bit of a, you know, post commentary, if you will. Um, so yeah, the first thing that we decided to do this episode is go visit my old friend Big Demon Guy that I ran past last time. I figured that, you know what, it's been a while since I really challenged myself, and I'm gonna take this guy out, and boy did I fucking get wrecked. <laughs> uh, the first thing I did was I went ahead and tried to recruit the help of some of these skeleton bros that were down here, and once I had become pretty solid friends with them, I went up and challenged the big man himself. Now, the first time, I tried sneaking behind him, and didn't really work. This guy, he was just so fucking hard. And I tried again, and again, and again, and again. Just kept beating the fuck out of me. And honestly, I tried literally everything. I tried hitting him, I tried rolling into him, and tried dodging him. I tried, like, everything that you could possibly think of trying, I tried up against this guy. And eventually, you know, I guess he felt really bad about, like, you know, killing me a million times. And so he just went ahead and hid in the corner and put himself into timeout, which was really, really appreciated on my part. Um, and so while he was doing that, I decided to, you know, pick up my balls and I went over there and I beat the fuck out of him. Now, unfortunately, I had to run out of there. But, when I turned around, I realized that the Skelly Bros that I'd become best friends with had actually finished the job for me. And so, you know, that just goes to show you the importance of making friends in this game. It's absolutely crucial, right? Everyone wants to kill you, but some people want to kill you less than other people. It's important to find those people and become homies with them. Alright, so after I managed to bullshit my way through that boss, I went back to Firelink and I decided to go ahead and try to get some fancy boss weapons, because I heard you could do that. Now, for whatever reason, I wasn't able to get Vort's Hammer, but it wasn't really that bad because I was able to grab some other weapons, and then I was out again. This time, back to the Catacombs of Karthus. Now, this time, I went down the creepy tunnel, and what did I find? Another fucking swamp. This game just can't seem to get enough of them. And so, you know, I was looking around, and I got scared shitless by a bunch of explosions and shit. I couldn't find out where they were coming from, I, just only that they were coming from my right. And so I figured I'd just go ahead and wade through the water and like, you know, I thought it was poisonous, but fortunately it wasn't. But you know what, poison, honestly, that was much nicer than what happened next because now I was getting shot at by fucking ballista arrows. And I, it was, it was unbelievable. So, you know, I tried taking cover, but nothing really seemed to help. So I just figured I'd like bum rush it over to the door that was on the opposite side of the hall. So after seeing that giant ass fucking worm that popped up out of the middle of nowhere, I noped my way out of there and tried to get up to the doorway uh, in order to go and, you know, be safe from the shots. But unfortunately, I got sniped from across the map by that ballista dude. So, you know, kudos to him, I guess. Fucking hacker. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, doors have failed me, and I found myself completely and thoroughly emotionally broken. And so what did I decide to do? I joined a Dark Souls Discord server and got some advice from some players that told me that if I just hid behind this rock, I could actually just use the ballista to go ahead and get the big worm guy killed, which was really, really cool. Then after that, I went ahead and rather than going to the boss, we went over to the right side and explored this like chasm with like a bunch of like fire breathing dudes, which was really, really scary, but it was super rewarding. Uh, at some point in that, I ended up meeting this like night guy. I thought he was my friend because he killed a bad guy like in front of me and I was like, oh, that's generally pretty good. But as it turns out, he wasn't my friend and he really, really wanted to kill me. Um, and we had a series of 1v1s against him and he just beat the fuck out of me most of the times. Um, but there was this one time when I got really, really lucky, and I managed to get him, which was pretty cool. And so then, it was just exploring the chasms after that. At one point, I ran into this rat, and we had a staring contest for a bit, while I was trying to figure out how I was going to go about killing this guy, because, you know, there was a big hole in between us. And eventually, I realized that I had some throwing knives in my inventory. So I picked him up, and then I checked one at the rat, and insta-killed it, and I was like, oh, hell yeah! And then, you know, I tried to get over to the other side by making the jump, and I fucked up. And I lost everything, and again, I rage quit. So after about an hour, I, you know, regained my cool, and I came back and I cleared out the rest of the pathways and stuff. It was actually a lot of fun once you really got into it, and I farmed up a lot of Titanite shards in the process. So then I went back to Firelink to do a little bit of leveling up, and while I was there, I figured I might as well go ahead and explore the shrine, because I haven't really done that before. Um, and so I'm 
learned about this like tree boost uh, and I got up onto the rooftop and then I found this like path that like led onto like the like the top of like the building and there was like this bird there that scared the actual like fuck out of me like it was it was the creepiest thing ever and um but the good thing was there was a, there was an SS shard up there so I was able to you know grab that and as I was making my way around this like random guy charged me and he started beating the fuck out of me and I didn't like I think he was just so freaking good he was you know dodging all of my attacks and stuff like that um and he managed to kill me and I went like, oh shit, that actually seemed like it was pretty fun. So I climbed back up there, and I fought the guy again. This time I actually managed to win, um, which was really cool. And he dropped a katana, which was awesome. So now I have a katana, but I don't think I have the, the attributes yet to be able to like really use it effectively. That was actually a lot of fun though. So after this, to be perfectly honest with you, I was sort of lost on what to do. Uh, it seemed like, you know, I didn't really know exactly where I was supposed to go because after I finished clearing out the whole uh, fire catacomb room things, I just, I didn't, I didn't know. I was like, what was next, right? And so I hopped back onto the Dark Souls server and I asked them, hey guys, you know, can you help me out after this point? And with some buddies, I realized that my next objective was going to be to defeat the Deacons of the Deep. And so we went ahead and went all the way up to the building that, you know, they would be at. And with my two companions, we managed to slowly begin clearing the way all the way over to the deacons. And we managed to take them out. Uh, unfortunately, one of our friends died on the way there. But the two of us were able to clear out the boss at the end. And it was actually really, really easy. Like, these guys, you know, they would try to stab me. But I think I upgraded my vigor so much that, like, it didn't do anything. And it was a really, really, really easy boss fight. So now that we had the deacons of the the deep unlocked uh, the only thing really left was to actually well you know progress in the game right so we really quickly then headed back to the old demon king and managed to take him out on like the seventh or eighth attempt we went through a lot of embers doing this but we managed to like eventually get the job done and now that means that we're totally set up to continue on this let's play series and that was really cool that those guys helped out because you know we're really flatlining there um, just because you know the game does get really really complicated at this point but you know it has such a great community behind it that you're always able to find someone to help you out anyways guys if you enjoyed this episode please be sure to go ahead and leave a comment down below i'm sorry that this isn't the usual type of episode and i'll be sure to get back to doing those as soon as possible um but yeah i really hope you enjoyed this i just felt that you guys you know <laughs> deserved an episode after all the wait uh once again guys if you like this episode make sure to drop a like and a comment down below and if you really 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 want to support the channel then go ahead and subscribe uh i try to upload a new video every two to three days so be on the lookout for that bye